Remind us uh, of the charges he was facing and, and, and tell us what the father told you about these alleged crimes. Uh, Brooke, I, Aaron allegedly downloaded millions of academic journals from MIT's network. He believed that academic research shouldn't be hidden behind a paywall. And his father said he believed he was innocent. But he did say to me, even if he wasn't innocent, the punishment of 30, facing 35 years in prison, in prison did not match the crime. 11 of the 13 charges Aaron faced were violations of the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, uh, a law that many people say is completely outdated. I asked his father about this. Listen to this. Well, at, at the moment, that law makes it a felony for you to give your password to HBO to a friend. That has to be changed. If you believe that there are problems with the criminal justice system, which obviously you, you've said, uh, if, do you believe that if the criminal justice system hadn't failed Aaron, do you believe he'd be alive today? Without question. How does that make you feel? like one who's 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 gone into the abyss brooke I, I met aaron's father about a year ago and we were sitting in the cafeteria here at cnn in new york and he just said to me he said laurie i was on my way over and i picked up my phone to call my son mm. and then it hit me and, and you can see that he still has questions and, and he's obviously defeated by this but he's fighting he's fighting he's talking to you about it you even talked to him about um the, the day his son was arrested what did he share with you uh, you know, it's heartbreaking. He talks about how he and his, his son went to MIT to go retrieve his bicycle and his helmet uh, from the officer after he was arrested. The officer came out and said, this is now in the hands of the of Secret Service. And, and they were just, they were devastated. But he, he got into more detail and he said that how they treated him after that, it essentially broke him. Listen to this. They went to his apartment, went through all of his personal effects. After he surrendered voluntarily, they arrested him, they strip searched him, and they left him in solitary confinement for hours. And after he met his bond, they kept him in solitary confinement for, for three or four hours with absolutely no expl explanation, all with the, with the goal of, uh, of attempting to break him. And, you know, he did, we should say, Aaron did battle. As he was battling the courts, he was battling with depression. And his father really believes that had it not been for the charges and the extent of his charges, his son would still be alive today, Brooke.